Thank you for joining us for this training video. In this video, we will cover scheduling a backup in VAST Live Client, then performing a manual backup, and finally restoring either in VAST Playback. You can see here I'm at the point where I've installed VAST and ad added cameras to my server. If you've not done so, please review some of our other VAST videos to catch up to this point. Let's click Configuration, Station Settings, Scheduled Backup Settings. First, we'll enable the scheduled backup. If we choose selected cameras, the camera list below will be active and we can use the arrow to move the cameras to the box on the right to designate them for the scheduled backup. For our purposes, we'll choose all cameras so each camera is backed up. Now let's choose a backup time. We'll choose 1800 hours or 6 p.m. to do our first backup. Then another at 9 a.m. Please note that you must have an hour between each backup schedule time or VAST will pop an error. For a description of how you can add a network location, please check our recording groups video for a detailed explanation. To add a network location from a NAS or other Windows file sharing location. For now, we'll browse to a local path. It must be on a separate volume than the main recording volume. This is to prevent vast regular recording conflicting with the scheduled backup and causing throughput issues, which could cause loss of recordings. Next, we'll select a maximum folder size. VCD is 650 meg. DVD is 4.7 gigs. You can customize a space in megabytes. But for our purposes, we'll choose unlimited. And we'll also put a check by delete old backup data if space is insufficient. This will act as a cyclic backup so that it deletes older backups to make space for new ones. Under other options, there's the option to backup events only. This will back up events even if VAST's recording schedule is set for continuous recording. Check the motion recording video for more details about setting up VAST to record only on motion or other event trigger recording. For now we're just going to back up continuous. We'll finish the scheduled backup configuration by clicking OK. Now let's take a look at backing up data manually in VAST. Playback. We'll click System. Launch playback. We'll open the camera tree to a date. Now in the list we can right click a recording run and click backup. We can designate a start and end time, then a save to location. For now, I'll choose a short clip for demonstration purposes and change the save to location to my desktop. To add the backed up data either from this manual backup or from the scheduled backup we set up earlier, we simply right-click local DB, then click Add. We will then select the backup file, highlighting the folder that starts with disk. Please note, if you choose a parent or subfolder without disk in the name, the video will not play back properly, so be careful to select this folder. 
Next, we'll click OK. To play back the video, open the local DB tree to a date, then play it back as you would a regular recording in the VAST playback client. Please note the video recording and cycling settings applied to actively recording cameras, as set in VAST, will not apply to these manually restored files. So user intervention will be required should you want to delete them. I hope you enjoyed these demonstrations of the different backup options in VAST. This concludes the video. We thank you for watching and choosing VivoTech. Remember to visit us at www.vivotech.com to see all of the latest VivoTech products.